whoopity doopity do it's time to talk about nintendo switch 2. now obviously the floodgates have been somewhat opening when it comes to nintendo switch 2 related stuff ever since we got that vgc report on the nintendo switch 2 people are hungry for information and it makes sense whether or not you think that the nintendo switch in its current stage is dated doesn't really matter it's just fun to talk about new hardware it's fun to see what the future of gaming is going to bring and after the stellar success of the nintendo switch after the really perceived failures of the Wii U, it's going to be interesting to see how Nintendo follows up this system. Now, Gamescom just happened, and people thought that Nintendo was going to talk about the Switch 2 at Gamescom and, like, strut it out there onto the stage and be like, hey, here's the Nintendo Switch 2, whoopity doopity do. And it's like, are you dumb? Like, Gamescom has never been about the viewer. It, it's not about you know making huge announcements gamescom is about more so the focus on developers and the talks that developers are going to be having and companies are going to be having behind closed doors or at these private parties that happen it's not happening out in the face of the public and everyone so that you get all the latest and greatest information gamescom is fine for what it is but jeff Keeley told you what to expect of this presentation and people still thought that there was going to be some big announcement and i I mean that's just that just falls on people not knowing what they're talking about really i hate to say it but you know these websites out here hyping up stuff like bro you don't know what you're talking about and you obviously don't follow the industry but nintendo themselves have actually commented on this system and this is coming to us from not just a random nintendo employee but the president of nintendo mr furikara now if you know anything about the history of Nintendo, you would know that it's been very interesting to see what's been happening with this generation solely because of the fact that none of this was really done by Kimishima, who of course preceded Furukara as the interim president, and then Furukara, who is the current president. All of this stuff, you know, most of these games, most of these, you know, the hardware itself, this was all done under President Iwata before his passing and president awada was always of the mindset that hey i'm a gamer first and a businessman second but when you hear furikara talk and he talks about things on the few times he does talk about things you could definitely get that businessman mentality from him more so than the gamer at heart now i don't know his gamer history or anything like that i'm not trying to discredit the man but it definitely has a bit more of a business aspect to it you could say the same thing about nintendo of america which of course is just a marketing firm but reggie fils was always in the spotlight hell he's still in the spotlight for some reason i don't really understand why I thought you wanted to leave video games, but here you are popping up at all these video game conventions and video game related things, giving speeches and stuff. I don't know. That's kind of weird to me. But then you look at Doug Bowser, who I, I, I don't think anyone knows what he does. I think he just sits in his office and just like plays one, two switch or something. But President Furukara did a recent interview with NHK, which is a Japanese publication, and actually spoke about future hardware for Nintendo and had the following to say, and I'm, I think it's pretty interesting. So in this interview that has been translated by Nintendo Everything, shout outs to them, good website, they, President Furukara said the following. While there is no particular technology we're focusing on at the moment, we are conducting research on a variety of new technologies. However, I believe the most important thing for our company is not seeking new technologies for novelty's sake, but rather considering how they can lead to revolutions in the act of play itself. The idea is that we, if we become convinced that incorporating a certain technology can provide customers with a fresh and surprising experience, then we cover its research more strongly, making investments when necessary as well. So obviously, everyone's mind is going to go to Nintendo Switch 2 with this comment. And there's a lot of things to sort of talk about in here because some of the terminology I, I find very interesting. You're not looking at technology for a novelty's sake. You're looking at it for the consumer's sake to make a more immersive experience to make a, a revolution in the act of play itself and that's all fine and well 
when you look at the history of Nintendo, you know, they've always done something a bit different. You know, the Wii was very different than the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The Wii U had its weird gamepad. N64 had cartridges instead of disc-based medium. GameCube had weird mini discs and a interesting controller but was allowed to you know you could do the game boy advance player on it which was really cool so there's always been somewhat of a novelty with these systems although nintendo might feel that they're revolutionary technologies and i will say that they are different in terms of what the competition is doing some of these things are a novelty like if if the wiimote wasn't a bit of a novelty and i'm not saying that a novelty is a bad thing because a novelty can be a good thing. It's just the lasting appeal of it. The Wiimote was extremely impressive at first. I think everyone loved it just because of how simplistic it was. But if you wanted a different type, you know, a more in-depth experience, the Wiimote, if it wasn't a first-person perspective game, like the Wiimote most of the time just didn't really cut it for a lot of games. Now, granted, there are, you know, outliers such as games like Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, but it definitely felt a bit like a novelty and once that motion control sort of overstayed its welcome you were wanting like a wii pro controller or something you were wanting to use a gamecube controller with that so what is this technology that they are looking at that's going to revolutionize things because they say in a revolution in the act of play itself and if you know anything about a revolution a revolution changes everything an evolution is probably what people are hoping for with this upcoming system Look at the evolution of like animals and stuff like that and how they adapt to their circumstances or the evolution of, of you know, whatever. It, it It's taking the base thing and then it's growing on that and adapting to, you know, the marketplace and, and or uh, really not a marketplace if you're an animal. But you, you get what I'm saying. It, it, it's sort of it's like what a play, what PlayStation does, essentially. PlayStation doesn't do revolutions. They do evolutions because it works for them. And I'm not saying that a revolution is a bad thing. But coming after the success of the Nintendo Switch, do you want a revolution? Do you want something that could be potentially very different than what you have right now? And if so, what could you do with what we assume is going to be a hybrid nature system that would be so different than what we have right now? Because an evolution would be that more powerful Nintendo Switch with better capabilities, with better, you know, a better screen on it, with better joy cons. That's the evolution. But what's the revolution? Is it going to be some sort of AR technology? You've, you've tried 3D before. That was kind of mixed results. You know, the new 3DS, I think, did a really good job with the 3D. But still, was 3D an evolution or a revolution or was it a novelty? Like, the 3D was a novelty. That's why you had a slider to turn it off and on. And many people turned it off. So, I don't know. This is interesting stuff here because of the fact that that I feel like although Furukara has been president of Nintendo, you know, for a, a, quite a while now, I don't know shit about this guy. I don't know how he handles upcoming consoles and console launches. You know, there is no other handheld system anymore to go alongside of the Nintendo console where you could get sort of a clear vision of how this person operates and how this person handles things. And it's going to be very interesting over the next few months to see how things are indeed handled i still don't think that the switch 2 is going to be formally announced this year but there's going to be information out there that ends up leaking there's going to be rumors there's going to be speculation and i want to see just what kind of business owner furikara is because it's time you know it's time to do stuff you were able to to enter into this ecosystem that was created by you know, Awada, who wasn't a perfect person. There obviously was many mistakes along the way. But you entered into this Nintendo Switch thing, which was Awada's vision. You know, games like Breath of the Wild, you know, obviously that game was in development for a very, very long time. You entered into positivity. But what happens when your boots get put to the fire? What happens when it's time for you to man up and take control of things? It's going to be fascinating. I just wanted to share this little story with you guys, though, because I think it's it's kind of telling. You know, Nintendo always says they want to come up with new ways to play games, and people are like, oh, no, they're not going to do that. You know, that's not what they want to do with this next system. But, I mean, it's right there. The dude literally said it. 
the dude literally said they're looking at new ways for people to play games. So if you're expecting that evolution, you might be surprised with this new system. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of all of this dough. Do you want, I said dough. Do you want an evolution? Do you want a revolution? Do you want a, I don't know. I can't think of another word that ends in Lucian. Solution. Do you want a solution to the revolution of the evolution? And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Be sure to check out the videos from yesterday. We're taking a look at Ride 5, which is like, I can't tell if it's real life or, or video game at times. Like, it's that insane. And, of course, we took a look at the brand new Atari system as well. If anything happens during Gamescom, I'll let you guys know. There was just nothing I felt like talking about. It was all pretty much games we already knew about. And, like, Little Nightmares 3. That's cool whatever and as always thank you guys for watching this video if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button like comment and share hit that bell as well and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later